Hey everybody, welcome back. Ruben, Texas, All Water Fishing. And I just want to give you a quick update how the tournament went for me. I just fished in the Saltwater Survival Series Tournament this past weekend. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> We're watching me. <laughs> Go ahead. I've been wanting to get more involved and fish some of the kayak fishing tournaments and this is my first kayak fishing tournament and I want to get more involved and start fishing and hitting some more of the tournament scenes. You know, I have yet to do a kayak fishing tournament and like I said this was my first one so I wasn't really too sure what to expect. I built a live well if you haven't seen that video. I did a little quick video on building a live well, and I have got great help and comments on that as well. And I'll share that with you later in the video how it did and the results of me fishing in the tournament. But first, I just want to talk to you about the tournament that I did fish. I'm going to switch the PC real fast over here. All right, so here it is, Saltwater Survival Series Tournaments. They offer four tournaments this year. Uh... March 27th, Redfish, just what I did. May 29th, Trout. August 21st, Flounder. And October 9th, that is HOW. I believe that's Heroes on the Water team event. You can see their logo right there. But if you've never fished a tournament, let me tell you, this tournament was fun. It was fun to get out there on the water and it was fun to meet everybody afterwards and you know just hang out have a few beverages eat a couple tacos those tacos were fantastic by the way i was starving by the time we got out there so thank you very much for making for feeding us out there but yeah this tournament it's you know it it was a good tournament i had a great time out there hanging out and seeing everybody it was just to me it was a it was a lot of fun i'm definitely gonna do try to do the other three remaining and there's a couple other tournaments out there uh, i believe there's one at the end of at the end of next month i'm gonna try to hit that tournament too but i'm gonna try to do as many as possible and also leave the window open to doing some bass tournaments I'm not a big freshwater guy, but you know, I like I said, I love challenging myself. I love doing new things. I love pushing the envelope and getting outside my comfort zone. So that's kind of why I wanted to start hitting the tournament scene. I don't think that I have what it takes to take any prizes or a place or get in the money, but it's just something fun that I want to do and help support some of the anglers that are running these tournaments and some of their sponsors that are helping run these tournaments in our area in our community so i didn't take the camera with me at the weigh-ins i just wanted just to kind of hang out and chill a little bit for the simple fact that i just wanted just to hang out i wanted to take it in i wasn't really too sure what to expect at weigh-ins or how the process all went being my first kayak tournament so i just wanted to take it in and just kind of hang out you know meet people shake some hands and you know tell a few jokes and stuff like that but unfortunately i did skunk i skunked it out i teamed up with charles from dirty bay fishing we recently pre-fished that location that we ended up deciding on fishing and the day before or the day before that 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 term that spot was just loaded with bait bunch of birds are diving loaded with redfish i mean i think charles limited out like in 45 minutes and kind of left the rest of the fish there didn't mess with them too much didn't want to disturb them and unfortunately when we went back they just weren't there we also rode through some green lights and we saw a bunch of nice big trout nice big specks i know this is a red tournament but there's also side pots you can always enter in these tournaments but we were just a little early on fishing, right? So we launched at five, which the rule state, rule state, and you can't cash your first line to six. Well, about 5:40, we rode through these lights, and they were teeming with fish. So we kind of hung back, held back a little bit, and rode back through again. And guess what? Fish were gone. Ducks moved in, 
and that was it you know the ducks moved in hitting on some of the little micro shads and those little uh glass minnows and the fish were either spooked or, or moved on we couldn't find them charles however he did catch a nice 24 inch red and something funny happened to charles you know i just i'll leave that there about his red i'll come back to it but something funny did happen to charles and here's a clip you know typically when a moment like this takes place i'm kind right i'll turn the gopro off or even if i do capture it i won't share it with anybody but uh i thought i would i thought it would be funny if i did share it with you charles unfortunately when he cast i believe he cast it, and he threw his rod in the water or slipped out of his hand and it went in now the water temp was about 72 degrees so it wasn't really cold but it also said that it was two and a half feet deep so charles has hip waders on and he thought heck i'll just go in and just jump in the water two and a half feet i'll be fine and when he jumped in he was extremely surprised because it was to his chest what are you doing favorite rod a cinematic moment i'm sorry <laughs> typically typically i don't record in situations like this but then always after say dude i wish you would have got that you casting it? Huh? Were you casting? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> We're watching me. <laughs> Go ahead. It's a rock. I can't tell. Oh, man, we all find it. I think it's a rock. Check that. Is that the rock? Huh? I think that's a rock. Yeah, there's rocks. Is there rocks in there? No rod? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> right on! <laughs> That's my favorite setup. Well worth a dive, man. Well worth it to get this one back. Who needs it to win a tournament, right? Who needs it? Uh, back to fishing. It was right under the boat the whole time. That's funny. <laughs> Apparently, I backed up right under. That's awesome. Well, like I said, Charles did catch a beautiful. 24 i think it was like almost 25 somewhere in there 20 20 24 25 inch red and well i wanted to put it in my live well and see if how my live well worked i did add a couple modifications to my live well i did put like a little uh i guess like a little blowhole on top so you can it, that air can still come in with pvc pipe uh i did go with they what they uh with a different cooler than i showed in my diy video i'll leave that link below on all the stuff that i use for the live well and i had some really good comments and some really good tips in that video a couple of guys tim and, and another guy shared another uh, viewer shared that said you know that pump in that water that gets really hot right so it's going to warm that that water up and plus you're going to have warm water anyway because it's hot outside it's it's warmer you can start getting the summertime and it, it's going to cook those fish and cook that bait so they suggested to put some two liter bottle water in it even su suggested to put some salt and then you know that two liter bottle water and some salt and freeze it overnight and then put it in your live well for your bait or your fish so i did just that unfortunately i didn't have any two liter bottles so i did stick a couple of little regular 12 ounce bottles and then i think like 64 ounce gatorade bottle with full of uh ice you know frozen water and when i got there probably think it took about an hour maybe an hour and a half but when i got to the weigh-ins all that water that that ice in those bottles all that water melted so it was pretty warm but the fish 
was still kicking. We did release it over there in San Leon, you know, a little fish transplant. So Charles, he caught one fish. I skunked it out. The live well worked. I had a great time out there seeing everybody, seeing some of the vendors that I know as well. Uh, Rex was out there for Action Hat. Tina was out there with Bait Butler. Philip was out there. Al Ad uh, Avid Angler, you know, it's great jewelry, great people. You know, got to meet some, you know, the whole Salt Yak crew was out there. My, my, my buddies from Texas Kayaks Junkies were out there. Got to meet uh, some great people out there, shake some hands, people I never met before, only talked through on social media. So I had a good time. I really had a good time. I was a little frustrated with myself because I did skunk out. But that's, you know, that's, that's a learning process, right? You're not always going to hook up and catch a lot of fish or in my case I didn't catch anything but you know it's a learning process so I know kind of know more what to expect on the next on the next trip out and you know I was glad that I could be able to use Charles's fish as a guinea pig just in case it died um, I would make up modifications and be happy it wasn't my fish that died in a live well but <laughs> No, I'm just joking. You know, we were kind of joking about that because I put it, I put his fish in my live well, and then I drove off, and he was following me. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna burn you up. I'm gonna take off and speed and get there first and weigh your fish in. You know, and I said I'm gonna cheat you out of fish, but no, seriously, I'll never do that. But you know, I had a great time, Charles and I. You know, it's first time that we fished together. First time I fished for the tournament. Not the first time that we fished again in the kayak, but first time that we teamed up for something like that. So hopefully, Charles and I will be back out there again fishing the next tournament. Like I said, there's there's three more coming this year for the Saltwater Survival Series, and I'm gonna hit a couple more. So if anybody has any suggestions, what tournaments you like, or what tournaments to stay away from. And if you were out there, maybe I'd have a chance to talk to you. Maybe you can leave your comment or if you want to share it with the uh, other viewers on what you caught and, and how you caught it, what you threw. Now, myself, I threw everything out there in the rainbow. I threw spoons, soft plastic, hard plastic, rattle trap, cork. I mean, I probably threw uh, quite a few, a few uh, lures just trying to find what they wanted. There was tons of bait in the water tons of mullet saw a few blow-ups but no real big signs of of reds of fish saw a huge gar but you know nothing not, nothing of that will, you know give you a telltale sign that there's fish in the area so no fish at all for this tournament i just wanted to share with you guys give you an update you know i'm gonna get back out there this week get back out there and hit the water and stay tuned, I have another video coming out, maybe possibly tomorrow. So stay tuned, I have another video out coming tomorrow. My son and myself doing a little bit of fishing on his spring break. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Hopefully next time you catch me, hook it up. Thanks.